What do you think is is it about the machine story that works? That was so uh, captivating for people. I think it's a, I think, I don't know. I really wish I, I don't know. I think it's a good story. I think it's a good story. I think everyone has something similar that happened in their life where they had a crazy night mm -hmm. and that no one believed mm -hmm. and they told their friends and their, fr and, and, or they experienced that with a friend like that. And, and, and I think, I think that's gotta be it. I really don't know. I think there's a part of, I think there's a part of the, like our community of com of comedy fans that were that early death squad that it was fun to watch someone take something from the podcast and turn it into a bit on stage. Uh, yeah. I think there was a lot of that, but I think people identify with a wild, crazy night that got out of control that they've probably had too. I, I think, I don't fucking know. Do you think Putin knows who you are because of that story? I hope so. I fucking hope so. I hope so. That, but there's there's a part of me that that you got to understand is like I, I'm not. I say stuff like that. I'm sure there's someone who hears that and they go, "Who is this fucking narcissist?" And you're like, "No, that's not it. I'm just telling you the truth." Like I understand what I'm supposed to say. Well, you know, I don't know. I you know I I don't know. That's hard to say. But I don't fucking give a shit about that guy. Mm -hmm. I'm not that guy. I'm telling you everything that comes out of my mouth. The second it comes out, I'm going to be hundred percent honest. I don't know any other way to live. I kind of hope so. <laughs> that would be fucking cool. And I look, I know he's a bad, I guess he's a bad dude. I don't follow politics ton, but it'd be cool if like one day someone's like, uh, he's he's on his computer and some guy goes, and he's like, eh, Yamashina? And he's like, da? Konyeshna, and he's like, and it shows it to him. And, and then he's like, fucking this guy, huh? It's not out of the realm of possibility that uh, Putin has watched it. I mean, this, this podcast has kind of made me realize how like small the world is. I've gotten to meet some incredibly, oh, like, yeah, especially the people interesting you've people. Met. Like that's, I mean, that's the thing where I go, like, it's gotten really crazy. The internet's really insane, and Netflix is really insane, and the reach of like people that like this is really simple. But like, I'm a big fan of the show Drink Champs. I didn't think mm -hmm. in a million years Nori would ever know who I was, and then he offered me to come to his podcast. And then when I got there, he told me he was a fan of mine, and I went. Like, I remember moving to New York, listening to you and Capone. Like, I'm sitting there going, wow. Yeah. Like, and, and then and the phone calls I've gotten since the movie came out and uh, since Razzle Dazzle came out have been really insane when you realize as, as much as I know about people, and I, I like, I, there's people I'm fans of that don't know who I am, or that, 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 like, that are like, they're like some uh, pitcher in fucking Florida that I follow the kids. I like, I think it's fun to watch him pitch. There was a softball player in uh, Tempe that she do catching drills. And I was really into softball with my daughter and we watch her catching girls. There's a girl D Glazer who me and my daughters would watch her dance videos. And then I hit her up. She's like, you know who I am? And you're like, oh yeah, that's the way the world works. 